Today I wanted to talk about something that I'm very excited about. We have a brand new floor lamp called the Candy Floor Lamp, which is based on the same name as these drinking glasses. And with this glass floor lamp from Murano, I'm able to use one of my favorite, favorite processes in the world of glass. And that's, it's fil filigrano, which is basically filigree in English. And it's the process of creating what looks almost like lace within the uh, glass. So what we do is basically we start the process of making these glass rods. And these glass rods are fascinating, fascinating the way they're made. Basically, we take a ball of glass from one of the colors that's available in the oven, and we take that ball of glass and maestros on either side attach their ponts, which are the rods that they use to blow the glass. And they just walk from one end of the factory to the other end of the factory. And as they do that, the ball gets longer and longer and longer and longer. And it's, you know, so it's basically this glass rod. And as they're walking, the glass rod is slowly, slowly, slowly about to touch the ground. And usually by the time it touches the ground, it's already hard. So once that's done, which is sometimes anywhere from like 10 feet to like 20 feet, when that's done, basically they walk along and they just snap all these pieces of glass up. So that alone is a pretty incredible process. So then what we do is these glass rods are what we use to put stripes in glass. So basically we lay the glass rods down on a piece of heavy metal and we put that piece of metal in the oven to keep warm. And then we create the object that we're starting with, which is usually out of clear glass. And then we take that usually like in a, a cylinder form. So we take that cylinder form and roll it over the warmed glass rods, which creates kind of like a bumpy texture, which is something I use on a lamp in the OTM collection called the Daphne lamp, because I wanted it to be like tree bark. But for this process, what we do is we then take that cylinder of glass, which has all these glass rods attached to it, and we dip that in clear glass. So when we're done, it's going to have a smooth surface on it, not the texture from the glass uh, rods. So, <clears throat> which is a pretty amazing process because this is an amazing way to create texture and the feeling of movement in the glass and add a bunch of different colors without them overlapping. Uh, but one thing it does do, which is really interesting when you're talking about overlapping, is this glass, which we call the candy glass because it kind of inspired me of those Christmas candies and how colorful they are. So basically, this glass in particular is green, yellow, and blue rods. So we took those glass rods and once we had the ball of glass with the rods attached to it, we gave it a slight twist, which gives it that feeling of movement. But what's really interesting is on the opposite side, you can see through and it creates almost like a checkered pattern. So with these, I never really know what colors I'm going to be doing these in. So when you see these on our website and you like the color, jump on it because you may never see that color again. Because as you can see, we have pretty much an endless supply of uh, colors. Uh, this one's kind of fun too. This is, has a yellow, green, and kind of like a prune, prune color, a purple. So I took this inspiration and you'll be able to see it in the candy floor lamp. Basically, uh, we're doing it in a brushed brass, and it's a very modern form where it's a metal disc on the bottom with some feet that you don't see. And then the cent center shaft is broken up into four sections. And within those four sections is this process that we used. Uh, the first one that's coming out is uh, done in browns. And now we're working on doing it in brush nickel with uh, some bluish tones. 
So for instance, we'll be using, this is one of the, this is like an Avaturina, which is what this is. This actually has, looks like a coppery metal, which you can't really see, but this one is blue with copper flakes in it. We're doing that and then a few mixtures of these other colors. So that should be coming out later, but right now, um, the one that's coming out is in browns and greens and that sort of thing. So uh, you'll see it any day.